Good afternoon, um, Dr. Uh, Evan Boyer, Director and Chairman of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Broward Health North, and I also have our colleagues from uh, Broward Health Maine here, and the three of us collectively uh, hopefully could uh, answer some of those questions. So uh, for starters, just because we're medical professionals doesn't mean we're numb to the emotions and we send out our sympathy to all the families involved. The worst thing as a parent is if your kid doesn't come home from school that day, hits home pretty hard and we sympathize for them. <clears throat> With that being said, nowadays, <clears throat> unfortunately, we do drills for this. <clears throat> About nine months ago, we did a drill at our facility specifically for an active shooter. So <clears throat> when it becomes a live event, we can work seamlessly with fire rescue, BSO, in order to ensure patient safety. <clears throat> I want to commend the pre-hospital personnel yesterday for all of their efforts and all the efforts at Broward Health North, Broward Health Maine, and also Coral Springs Medical Center got a couple of patients as well. Specifically to Broward Health North, and I'll turn it over to Dr. Menendez and Puente about Broward Health Maine. Broward Health North, we had a total of nine patients. One was the suspect treated and released. <clears throat> we had two patients deceased. Three patients have been discharged. We currently have three patients in the hospital, one with an extremity wound who's doing well and working with physical therapy, another patient who's still intubated after penetrating trauma to the chest but is doing well and following commands, and a third patient that remains uh, intubated in critical condition. Dr. Menendez. Yes, I'm Benny Menendez. I'm the director for the emergency department at Broward Health Medical Center. So yesterday was a tragedy that we all as a team took care of all these patients. We, our facility, received seven patients of the seven patients. Right now we have two patients that they are critical, stable condition. The other five went home or they're on the way home and they're, you know, in good condition. The other two that they're critical, stable condition, I have Dr. Puente, who's the trauma surgeon, who was dealing with them. So if you have any question about those, you can tell them. Thank you, Dr. Menendez. Um, again, I'm Ivan Puente. I'm the trauma medical director of Broward Health Medical Center. And uh, unfortunately, this is becoming routine for us now. It's the second such episode that we've had uh, in a year, which is very sad. And the first thing I want to say is that this second time around, just like the first time around, the first responders did a terrific job. And for those of you who understand what we do in trauma, time is of the essence, and really the delivery of those patients by that EMS personnel was fantastic yesterday. It made a huge difference in the outcomes. As Dr. Menendez said, um, we had seven. We received seven patients. One was discharged uh, last night. We had one that was in critical condition that went uh, to surgery. We had two more stable patients that also require surgery. Uh, we have. Uh, they're still out of the six though, still left in the hospital. We're hoping to be able to send home two of them today, um, but I expect that all of them will fully recover. I'll be happy to take any questions. Special Agent Cruz, can you please tell us, if you prefer to tell us that Nicholas Cruz is the same person who wrote that YouTube comment, is that the same person? 